Okay, so Thursdays is going to now be reserved for a new little show that I have in my mind. So almost literally going to come out to you guys on Thursdays. So basically I'm going to cover a topic that may be on my mind and it won't cover headlines, celebrity bullshit, entertainment, or I mean it may. If it's on my mind, I guess I'll cover it. But um, I'm going to not try to cover what you see on the news currently just because you get the same two stories on, you know, every friggin' day on 80 different fucking channels and after a while it makes you go fucking crazy and it makes people go, why the fuck do I care about Beyonce's baby in the hospital? I don't give a shit. I've heard about this stupid shit on my local news channel every fucking morning because, okay, I must confess that I have a thing with watching the news every time a TV is near me. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but uh, whatever. So let's move on. So I'm looking for a kind of like a title for this little Thursday, you know, video show I have going on here. Um, I've gotten two really good ideas. I really like them. But if anyone else has any suggestions, that'd be really cool too. So the first one that um, my sister came up with is Take It All In On Thursdays, which I do like that one. It's pretty catchy. Um, I do like it. And another one that came... From my friend Mark, he says Thursdays with Sherms, which I do like. It's a little bit more personalized. So if you have any ideas, please feel free to let your creativity flow. So moving on to the topic for the week. I wanted to cover something that's kind of been on my mind just a little bit for the past few days. I currently am in a relationship. Uh, if you guys are on my Facebook, obviously you know. Um, but if not, I am in a relationship. He is far away right now. Long distance is pretty tough. But I wanted to cover some things that, things you should and shouldn't do when you're in a relationship. Now, I feel like there are a little, a little, okay, maybe a lot. <laughs> there are, like, a lot of boundaries that you're not allowed to cross when you're in a relationship. And I think that's just BS because I'm really, like, a free spirit and I want to do whatever the fuck I want, when I want with whoever I want, which obviously cheating, I'm, you know, I'm not going to talk about my past, but now I see cheating in a different light. I, you shouldn't do it. Obviously, moral reasons hurting the person. If you really love them, you won't cheat, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's not get into the whole cheating thing, but the boundaries. The first thing I want to cover is pet names. When you have a conversation, okay, I'm going to use Mia for, for example, obviously. I have no other perspective but myself, so... There are a lot of guys I talk to. I have a lot of guy friends. A lot of you know, there are several women out there that have a slew of guy friends, and they have no female friends. I do have female friends, but a lot of the people I talk to day to day are guys. Not saying you know, oh, I need all these guy friends. I need the attention, blah blah. blah. I just somehow I just you know have funnier conversations with dudes, or you know, we just sometimes it's just funnier. <laughs> I like to laugh, and usually guys are all about making me laugh, so that's okay. So I'm having a conversation with guys my guy friends, and they use the whole hun, sweet, you know, hey, sexy, this and that. Not saying that I allow those things, but sometimes it does come up. And I'm not really with, I don't know, my name's Amber, please use it. Or whatever nickname that we have, because some people have different nicknames for me. I've been called Burr, I've been called Ams, I've been called, you know, just all Amby Sherman, you know, people all, I mean, use all kinds of nicknames for me. But I'm not really with the pet names if you're not my boyfriend or whatever. But sometimes it happens. I'm not going to be a total bitch like, um, excuse me, do not call me hun. Please don't call me sexy. I'm not. You're like, why are you going to make things so fucking awkward? Like, who cares, right? I mean, you really shouldn't care that much. But now, the question is, is how are you going to feel, you know, especially if your boyfriend or whoever you're with has a problem with this? How do you address it? Is it, you know, do people really care about pet names? You know, is it allowed? You know, what are your feelings in the whole pet names thing? Where where does it cross the line? Because, you know, I don't know. Um, the next thing is affection. Um, what about hugging people? You know, you know, just basic kind of, I guess, flirtation or something. But, you know, like, I guess... I, I guess hugging is a big thing because if you kiss somebody, obviously, on the mouth, it's like a big fucking deal and that's considered cheating to some people, blah, 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 blah. Some people are like, you know, open and they just don't give a shit. But I guess hugging and, I mean, kissing on the cheek and certain things are, you know, okay, but then some people have problems with it. So where's the limit there? Like, where, 
I don't know. So just your comments on the whole, you know, affection thing because so when you get into a relationship it's like don't fucking touch me or my boyfriend's going to get jealous or I'll feel bad, I'll feel guilty, oh my fucking god. Okay. The next thing I want to kind of cover is flirting. So when does flirting go into past the line of flirting and then goes into cheating? So I have a really big theory that if you are thinking about having sex with this person, you want it, right? Okay, the difference is you're thinking about it, you're not acting on it, there's a big difference between the two. But if, okay, for example, if you're having sex with your partner and you're thinking about someone else, I think that's kind of, that's, I feel like that's really bad. <laughs> I don't know, it's like really fucking bad. But when does flirting cross the line? Like, what are the boundaries for flirting? Like, you know, I guess slapping on the ass is kind of a big flirtatious thing. Like, you know, if a dude slapped my ass, my boyfriend would fucking lose his mind. <laughs> um, not saying I allow those things because I'll punch some motherfucker in their face probably first if it happens. I mean, it takes like real close friends to even let that fucking slide. But um, I don't know. So another thing I want to talk about is talking with the ex. Now that is a really tricky one because some people are like, no fucking way, you're not talking to your ex-girlfriend, you're not talking to your ex-boyfriend, fuck, blah, 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 blah. You know, you, I'm pretty sure everyone's had that fucking argument with their partner about, you know, the ex. Um, I know I have. I have it all the fucking time because, I don't know, who, I, I really don't care. Talking to your ex, their ex is for a reason, right? Their ex is for a reason. Um, some people, fucking, once you're an ex, whatever, I don't care. But I'm all about... You know, I hate people, um, I guess if you're over that person, if you're really over that person, then who cares if you're talking to them or whatever, like, because if you have hate for a person, if you have hate for a person, I'm really, I believe if you hate someone, that person has a lot of power over you. They're making you feel so, such an intense emotion, they're making you feel this hatred, and that's a lot of, you know, anyone that can make you feel that way has to have a really big hold over you. So yeah, let's just talk about the whole, the ex thing, leave your comments about that, where, where does it lie, like, totally do not do it when you're with someone, or, you know, hey, fucking invite them out. <laughs> the next thing I want to cover is crushes. When you're in a really deep relationship. Now, I'm not talking relationships like just dating somebody. I'm talking like one, two, three, four, five, thirty fucking years of being with someone. So you're in a deep relationship, but then you have a crush on somebody. What the fuck do you do? So if you have a crush, is it, do you, what do you do, you know, okay, if you have a crush, what do you do? Is it, oh, I don't love this person as much as I think I do, the person you're with, obviously, or, oh, maybe I should, you know, do something with this person I have a crush on to see if it's real, or, you know, I know it happens to people. I had a conversation with my sister. I asked her, like, hey, is it normal to have a crush on somebody if you're with someone? She says, yeah, you'll get over it, though, which I guess some people, maybe they don't get over it because that's how they get kind of caught up in the cheating thing. So I guess thoughts on the cheating. So there's so many boundaries, I feel like, when you're in a relationship. Like, you know, sometimes people are like, oh, that's, you know, shouldn't I not do this, shouldn't I do this? And I know some people probably think about it. And maybe maybe my past relationships kind of give me a little, um, maybe I'm damaged goods. <laughs> I'm damaged goods, whatever, I don't care. Like maybe, you know, I, I before I, my, one of my exes would look through my things and if he caught a conversation that he didn't like with another guy, he'd be super pissed about it and considered it cheating. So now I, sometimes I feel like, oh, if me and a, if me and a guy friend really hit it off, hit it off, it's like, oh, oh, I should just, you know, leave him alone because if my boyfriend thinks I'm talking to him, then fuck's sake, I feel really guilty for no damn reason. I, I just want to know if anyone else feels that way. So I guess that's, what, that's what's been on my mind this week. So, yeah. If any comments, please feel free to give your comments, whatever, all that jazz. I would love to hear some other perspective on this topic. So that is it for my Thursday show. And please, if you have a suggestion for a title, send it my way. Thanks.